Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Standing on the field at the 2013 New Orleans Bowl with the Tulane Green Wave will take on the Louisiana Raging Cajuns. Now, this is a great game for both programs, just not for the state of Louisiana, not for the programs, but also for the city of New Orleans. So let's go back to media day at the press conferences where Louisiana's head coach, Mark Husband, gave his thoughts on this upcoming bowl game. Yeah, a lot of people uh, may have scoffed at that uh, three years ago when you said that, but this year we're eight to seven top 25 votes. And if we'd have finished even a little bit better, we may have uh, broken in top 25. So, you know, we're, we're trying to get to the point where you see a Northern Illinois or a Boise and mm -hmm. some of the other non-BCS uh, teams that are ranked in the top 25, Fresno. And so we're, it, we're very close to being where they are. Y'all aren't the same conference, but it's a rival game. Just because you're going after the same kids. And well, yeah, anytime y'all think you're playing in state school, mm -hmm. it can't have to be some type of rivalry. And, uh, you know, our players all know each other and we're mm -hmm. with one another. And so that makes it all a little bit more fun. It's for bragging rights with the fan base. And so that always adds to it a little bit also. Mm -hmm. Great occasion, Coach Mark Hesketh. Coach, I, I know this has been a, uh, a quick year for the fans because you guys have had such a successful year. But this is a uh, this is a tribute and a reward for the coaches as much as it is for the players. Because huh? you guys put a lot of work, a lot of effort into the staff, and this is all this is all the trophy. Isn't it? It, it, it is, and you know we've been working on it since January the 15th, and whether it's recruiting or this all season spring ball, uh, then two a days, and then a very grueling season. And so for our coaches and to be able to bring their wives and families down to New Orleans for a week is, is a great reward, not only for the coaches and the families, but you know, for our team. You know, you said when you took the job that um, that you wanted this team to go to bowl games. And after the first bowl game, you said, well, this is nice, but we want to be consistent. Right. Three in a row, that, that's pretty consistent. Well, I'm proud, proud of our team, our, and i got to give all the credit to our players. They've worked awfully hard. And uh, when they come to, bowl, to a bowl game and they get to, to uh, do the things they get to do while you're here, and they get to bowl games, Yes, and they get to play in the Superdome in front of this type of crowd. It's great motivation uh, in the spring and in the summer to say, hey, man, that was great. Let's go do it again. You know, one of the things I like about this staff, and, um, you know, uh, let's see, Thursday. Thursday you took your team to the, to the, w, uh, to the World War II Museum. Right. No, that wasn't even, but it's important for you as a coach and your staff to let these kids enjoy the week yet at the same time prepare hard to win a football game. No question. You know, your bowl has got to be a reward. And uh, it, it can't just be uh, all work and no fun. Why would you want to go to it? You know, so you know, the bowl is a reward for a great season, but uh, you still got to keep the main thing. The okay. main thing is when you are practicing, when you are preparing, that you're doing a great job and you're very dialed in. And then when you get away from from the from the football in the evenings and the afternoons, go have a good time and spend time with your teammates. But they they understand that they're here to have a good time. And more importantly, we're here to win the bowl game. I'm not a coach. Alonzo, you're one of the best quarterbacks in Kansas history so far. Man, keep in mind, this is a history that for a long time didn't have a thousand yard rushing. What does being a running back now at Louisiana mean for you? Uh, it means a lot, uh, especially coming in with uh, Coach Hood and, and uh, starting something new, the new era. And, I mean, uh, for me, being a uh, part of that is just phenomenal. I mean, uh, it's a wonderful experience. It's been a wonderful experience so far. And, uh, as, as far as um, being one of the greatest, is like, uh, I can't stress how important it is to me, how, how I feel about it. I uh, take pride in it every day when I go to practice. I carry it on my shoulder. It's something that I keep in the back of my head doing practice throughout a game. You know, anything I can do to try to help my team win, I do. Now, let's, let's get a little secret. I was a Cajun running back during the down year from 99 to 02. So, to see you guys have success now, it makes me proud. So, what has it been like on campus? What's the buzz been like about the city around the campus? What's the success of the UL football team? Oh, it's definitely picked up a lot. I mean, we, we definitely have a, a lot more support. I mean, I'm quite sure when, uh, we use there, we, 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 we probably wasn't the many fans, but, but now it's like, it's, it's, it's a real city to call it now. So, it, it's, it's definitely picked up uh, on the field, uh, well, in the stadium, and uh, as well as on campus.
how's practice going? It's going pretty good. You know, everybody's keeping a high level of <laughs> How about a, a, the backup quarterbacks? Are, are you happy with how they're progressing? Oh yeah, they're fine, man. Uh, you know, they've been doing just how they've been doing all season. You know, just preparing, getting ready for games. You, how did, as a kid return, do you like playing in, a, in this kind of environment? Drive, fast track? It's amazing, bro. Just, you know, uh, the, that's one of the highlights of the game. You know, people like to yeah. see those types of things. Just the drive and lectures. Mm -hmm. what, what's the key to a good kid return? Just running hard, you know, stop stuff. Mm -hmm. And finding your blockers as they set up the wall too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, man. Thank you. You guys are progressing on the Zoom season. You're being a hard receiver and also having the ability to be an excellent returner. How do the two link up together? Because you can't do one without being a great guy. So how does being a great returner help you be a great receiver? I mean, it allows you to, I guess, with the ball. Because, you know, being a returner, you had a ball in your hand. So it gets you used to working off defenders, finding the crease, you know, looking for the best way to get the ball down the field. And I mean, as far as receiver and return, it just keeps your hand out coordination, your agility, just keeps you on top of things. Each game is the same. You know, we don't want to have you know, the same one game is more important than the other. You know, it's, it's the most important game is the next game. You know, and uh, we've, we've been practicing hard. You know, and personally, I've been I've been, I've been trying to play a little more physical. You know, I don't want to uh, just want to be on the attack more and stop and stop uh, filling around. You know, but uh, but Will's put together a great plan. You know, a good plan to stop the run and, and control and control more offense. You know, and uh, I think we have a pretty good chance. What do you think that team needs to stop the run? What does that actually mean? What do you really have to do to stop the run? Everybody's got to do their job. You know, you got to, the guy's got to be guy, you got to stand the be guy. You know, the guy has, the guy, everybody on the defense has to do their job. And they trust that the guy next to him is going to do his job also. So you're not trying, there's not one person out there trying to make every play. That, that's, when you, that's when you mess up. So you just got to focus on doing your job and execute the game plan.